What if I told you that you could make one topping for all different kinds of fillings and have different dessert every week for, I don't know, five weeks? Would you be excited? My column this month has some fantastic ideas for different combinations of crumble. They all start with this topping. Six tablespoons of butter, quarter cup of tightly packed light brown sugar. Now cream the butter and the sugar until nice and light. Hand mixer, whatever kind of mixer you want. By hand if you want. Make sure that your butter's nice and soft, otherwise this will not work. To that, add one cup of all-purpose flour and a half a teaspoon of coarse salt. If you're using fine salt, use a quarter teaspoon. And then mix it with your hands. And it'll come together in about 20 seconds into kind of clumpy bits, and that's what you're looking for for the topping for any fruit crumble that you're making. Cut up two pounds of peaches, nectarines, apricots, six cups of berries. You choose, and you get to make the fruit dessert of your dreams. These are white nectarines, that's kind of cool. And that can go into a nice big bowl. I should have about six cups of fruit. In two pounds of fruit, you should get about six cups of sliced fruit, loosely measured. Sticky hands, wipe them off. A Little bit of lemon juice, tablespoon or so. Half to three quarters of a cup of sugar. It's kind of up to you how much you want, and it depends on how sweet your fruit is. Four teaspoons of cornstarch for thickener. You don't use a ton of thickener in a recipe like a crumble because the flour has thickening power in it and it dissolves into the fruit. Half a teaspoon of coarse salt. If you're using fine salt, use a quarter teaspoon. You're totally welcome to use fine salt. Stir it together and then it goes into an eight by eight baking dish. Not buttered, nothing. The great thing about a fruit crumble is that it's so versatile. Just make sure that your fruit is ripe and fragrant and delicious and you can't go wrong. Now all that's left to do is top it, throw it in the oven, and you are done. The crumble just goes right on top. I like to kind of mush it in my hands into big clumps and then put it on top so that you get like chunks of it when it's baked. Once the crumble's on top, it goes in the oven 375 degrees, it should take about 40 minutes. If it starts darkening too quickly, you should check after about 30 minutes and tent it loosely with foil. I can't stop baking in the summer, I don't know about you. I wouldn't be able to take it. Think of all the desserts you would miss, if peach blueberry pie, raspberry cobbler, come on people, turn your ovens on. Sacrifice your comfort for deliciosity. The crumble has been baking for 40 minutes. 30 minutes in, I tented it with foil. It was just darkening a little bit too much for my liking. Crumblicious, crumbletastic, fragrant, juicy nectarines topped with a buttery, crunchy crumble. Turn on the oven and make this for your family and friends. They're gonna love you forever and you know, you might just wanna keep it all for yourself. It's that good. I'm keeping this one for myself. See ya.